Hi everyone and welcome to Eden's Secret. Today we're making wax melts. Now that I'm getting more confident with making them, I thought we'd change them up a little bit. So uh, we're going to be using some new moulds today that I got from siliconmoulds.com and I thought I would do them multicoloured. So we need moulds, we need a heat safe measuring jug, I'm using some pipettes, five of them, because I'm actually going to do five different colours. So I want five pots uh, to make the colours in. And then the wax, if you can see it, is eco soy melt. Okay, so we're going to measure our wax into the Pyrex jug. And I've worked out that each compartment takes about 60, it's actually about 65 mils of wax. Um, so I've actually got two moulds here, so that's going to make eight bars. So we're going to need about 450 grams of wax. And I'm going to melt that just in the microwave. Okay, so our wax is melted. I'll just show you the temperature. Someone mentioned in a comment the other day uh, that the eco soy melt wax doesn't like to be heated up any more than 70 degrees. So, yeah, I've Obviously, I've got it at 72 there. Um, so I'm just going to try and see if that makes a difference with the unmolding. Now, I'm just going to tear this and I'm going to add my fragrance in there. So I'm going to add 45 grams. Because 10% of 450 is 45. Damn. Made a mess. And then we're just going to stir the fragrance in and allow, allow it to, all the molecules from the wax are going to absorb that beautiful fragrance. I'm not mentioning the fragrance yet because this is something I'm doing for the future. It's not actually for now, uh, but in the future, I'll be letting you know what it's all about. Um, so there'll be no link to the fragrance in the description box, not today. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop these moulds in the microwave for a minute because something else I've learned is wax melts like the moulds, silicon moulds, to be nice and warm. So I'm going to warm them up. And while they're warming, I'm 
going to dispense the wax in to these pots. Probably need some more pots actually. Because now I've got nearly 600 mils of wax. These pots are 125 mils, but obviously I'm not filling them all the way to the top. Well, it'll give me an extra colour anyway. And then I'm going to colour them all separately with different colours. Gosh, it's which colours to go with. So a bit of pink 201P. Some pistachio green. Some purple, some Neptune blue, and some Bunny Buttercup sparkle, some yellow. I think I'll use the, the whizzer. Hmm. Fantastic. That is no good, is it? Okay, so we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of glitter in each one. Not, not too much. Oops, too much.
it's funny these pots are small glitter but it, it really does go quite a long way so what we're going to do now I'll go with the yellow first because that one's wanting to set up faster than the others we're just gonna squash the colors in just at one end of the mold so it's now we're like trying to get a bit more creative with the wax melts and then do the same with the next colour it'd be easier just to take that pot I think hmm. might be better with a nice deep type of spoon or faster anyway And then the rest of the colour, just drizzle. Bit messy this one, isn't it?
Right, so what's happened is, obviously, there's loads of wax stuck in the bottom of the pot, so not a brilliant technique, but what I'm going to do is melt some more wax so I can just fill these moulds up and I'll probably just do it with all of it with hot pink so the bottom of the tart is all hot pink. So I've got the pink wax in here ready to pour and I guess the moral of the story is what I should have done instead of going from one colour wax melts to six colour wax melts is the next one I should have done should have been two colour shouldn't I and then three then four then five then six but typical of me I always want to run before I can walk okay so as you can see I've tried to scrape off some of the wax from around the moulds here not very successfully so let's just fill these in with the wax that we have got now I tell you what I was thinking would be very useful is um, a heat gun that doesn't blow does anybody know what such a thing would be called this is actually not very successful at all you know what I'm doing here I was thinking what I'll do is just fill these moulds up with this wax and then I'll get the heat gun on it. Uh, but the heat guns, they do blow the wax and it would be much better if you just had a heat gun that doesn't blow. Because I want to level them out. And then they don't get that level with the uh, actual blower heat gun. I mean, does it matter? Am I being too particular? I feel like I'm actually overfilling these now because because the wax isn't runny. But I guess the beauty of showing you my mistakes is so that you learn from them. And I'm a big believer in making mistakes helps you to learn. And uh, what good would a channel be if you were just showing perfection all the time? Um, that's no good for the viewer because the viewer is not going to understand why theirs didn't work and yours did. Okay, so I've tried to get rid of all the excess, excess wax on there. And a lot of these are overfilled, so this is just not going to work very well but the reason I'm showing you is I'm showing you the mistakes I make so that you don't make them I don't even know if this will make them look any better but we'll have a go see how much excess wax there is because it's rolling out over the side of the silicon mould. I don't know whether to just make it do that and then we can trim off, trim off the excess. It looks like that's what I'm going to do.
uh, bubbles there. I'm just trying to fill those in with the loose wax. Right, that's about it, I think. Okay, so I'm just going to leave them to set again and then probably try try to unmold them then trim them up I'm not going to touch them the wax at all here so that's it okie dokie let's see what we've got Obviously not the best wax melts I've ever made. I'm sure we'll be able to tidy them up. Kind of pretty. We have got some air pockets in here. Now, again, I think that is because some of the wax was a little bit thick. But otherwise, I think they're fine. Pretty good. I love that sound. They're actually really nice and the smell is delicious. So I'm noticing with this one, we've still got some yellow dots stuck in there. <coughs> and again, I think that's just down to the wax being too thick when I poured it in. If it had been, <coughs> if it had been more fluid, it would have been absolutely fine. I'm absolutely certain of that. So that's our learning lesson for today. Is a little bit warmer wax before we pour for something like this. And as you can see, they, they clean up really nice.
Okay friends, I hope you enjoyed this little video from Eden Secret. I'll see you all very soon for another video from me, Karen Morland, here on this channel very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.